Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you Black Fire. Check this out. For this investigation, I'm using my low pressure sodium lamp, a spoon, sodium chloride, and 50 milliliters of distilled methanol. The first step is to add some salt to your methanol and stir it until as much sodium chloride is dissolved as you can. The next step is to warm up your low pressure sodium lamp. If you look closely, you'll see that the middle of the lamp is filled with neon gas. That's that pinkish reddish color that you see in the center. That neon gas starts to heat up and it vaporizes the sodium. And that's when you start seeing that bright yellow light. And what's happening there is the sodium ions are jumping energy levels with their electrons. And when their electrons become grounded, each electron gives off a photon with a specific wavelength that through the light spectrum creates that color yellow. Look how bright it's getting as it warms up. Just beautiful. One of the things that's interesting about sodium is when its electrons jump energy levels and return to their grounded state, they actually give off photons that have two wavelengths. One that's 589 nanometers and the other one is 589.6. But since both wavelengths are so close, the color appears monochromatic to us and through the light spectrum kind of makes everything around it appear septiton. I wonder what would happen if we made a fire that had the same wavelength of light. What would that fire look like? Let's find out. happen if I write a match that's made mostly of potassium chlorate in the black flame. It appears orange right next to the black fire because it has a different wavelength of light. Let's try it with our fire tornado. What would that look like? Would that produce a black tornado? Oh, I can see it swirling. Look at that. It's like a partially black fire tornado. That's amazing. Look at that. It's like the edges are black. Oh, that is eerie. <laughs> Look at that. It's a black fire tornado. So the reason the flame appears black is that it has a wavelength that's really close to the same wavelength as our low pressure sodium lamp. And so the fire is actually absorbing that same wavelength, causing it to appear black. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe.